Okay, this uh, this how-to video is going to describe how to configure a CIS database uh, for Capture CIS. Um, so to start off with, what we need to do is we need to define a uh, an ODBC data link. So we can obviously go to the control panel. Um, this is administrative tools. Now there's a data source is the ODBC link. Um, if you're using Windows 7-64-bit, um, that's not currently supported, so you would need to define a 32-bit data source. You can see the location, the ODB CAD32, uh, available from C colon Windows SysWow64 folder. This is just a shortcut I've put into my, uh, my admin tools, but this is how we would define the data source. So we'll go to the, the data source administrator. Uh, it's a system DSN, and then we just add a new system DSN. And for this example, I'm going to use a, a Microsoft Access driver, but supported a Microsoft Access drivers, Excel drivers, or um, uh, an SQL database. So we'll give it a name, and then we'll select the database. So it's just a matter of going to the to wherever you've got it installed on your machine. And I've got an example database there. Okay. Once that's there, we can then go to to capture CIS. Um, and under the options menu, option CIS configuration, we can then go and do a new DBC file. There's a standard wizard that kind of runs up and goes through this. So there's my example database from the data sources. And I just click next. So these are the tables that you can obviously then bring into from my access database. Uh, and it's a matter of just mapping the default property. So we've got a part number property inside Capture, and we've got to map that to a property inside your database. Mine obviously match, part number and value. And we do that for all the different tables. So I've got four tables that I'm adding this for. The next one is then part type and schematic part. And again, these are just properties inside your database. Uh, the final bit is the PCB footprint, so it's a matter of defining what your PCB footprint is called. My 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 column in my in my table is called Allegra PCB footprint. And I'm just going to map that. If you're using PSpice, you can also also map map a PSpice model. You then want to define which properties you need to transfer to the design. Now, all the properties are available when you come to do things like a bill of materials, but it's whether you actually want to transfer all of those properties to the design. The ICA properties are related when you're using the Internet Component Assist, if you want to get uh, schematic symbols directly from the web, um, and whether you want to have uh, ICA properties, the defaults are kind of manufacturer and manufacturer's part number. Uh, the Active ID part, so I just want to, I've got a table with this, this property involved in as well, and that then goes through the four tables. And then you've obviously got browsable properties, so if you've got things like data sheets, you can have a data sheet link inside your CIS database, uh, and go and get a data sheet from, from the web or from a, from a network drive. The key property is what CIS automatically searches on when you add parts. So we've obviously got value as the key property. That's the default one. We then click finish. And we then get a summary showing us all the different properties that we've applied. We can then go and save our DBC file. So let's just go to um, a working directory. And we'll just call this example. That then saves the DBC file out. Now when I go and place a database part, uh, there's my, my example database. Let's just go to one of the examples. And you can see I obviously get my schematic symbol and my PCB footprint. So for further information for, for kind of doing all of this kind of setup, uh, we've got two places. You can actually go to, to the support.parallelsystems.co.uk webpage. Um, and you can see under here we've got kind of a cadence, or CAD, Capture CIS. And then some of these how-to PDFs, how to create things like DBC files, how to set up the ODBC file, mm. are actually there. And these are just PDFs that are embedded into the into the, the web page. So you can see a step-by-step -step instructions are there. The other place is also uh, as part of the install directory. So if we go to C colon cadence 16.5 doc, there's a CISUG folder. And if we double click on the PDF file inside there, that's the Orca Capture CIS user guide that talks about databases and how to set all this up.